Today I'll be talking about uh, research methodology and methodologies. And of course, I will start with very general and then move more specific later on. So I will do it in 10 uh, different uh, parts I will record separately. Today, I, or, or the first episode, will be about uh, just two main studies in research methodologies which you need to be aware of, uh, and they are ontology and epistemology. And these are the ones that are, uh, the first one is the ontology is the study of being. And that is, um, it has got uh, two uh, approaches, actually three, but objectivism is one of them, which is social phenomena apart from social actors, i.e. social actors or, hu or humans are not involved, and that is the natural science perspective. That's objectivism. The other one is constructivism, which is social phenomena, but endorsed by social actors. And that's the difference between objectivism and constructivism. constructivism. The third in between, which is realism, which is an intermediate position between objectivism and constructivism. Constructivism, which that means that that can be known through the senses uh, or different structures and mechanisms. So that is really one huge, massive study of being in uh, research methodologies. The other study is called epistemology. And that is the study of knowledge. And this one has got positivism, where social phenomena are objectively researched. Data about the social world can be collected and measured. And it is linked with quantitative approach. Quantitative approach, uh, this is something uh, I will uh, uh, cover later on. Quantitative approach and qualitative approach, I will describe them and explain them in another episode which I will record later on in this uh, series of uh, research methodologies. And the second one now, under the epistemology, uh, apart from positivism, is interpretivism, which explores the social world from the point of view of the actors, human beings, and subjective interpretations. And this is linked with qualitative approaches. There's also the realism, which agrees with both of them, positivism and interpretivism, and it's linked by, with both uh, a quantitative and qualitative approach, i.e., that means it is observable and applies hidden structures and mechanisms. Now, there is also, uh, to, just to make it a little bit easier for you to understand, ontology is what can we know, which means that it is actually between realism and relativism, whereas epistemology, how can we know? That is the question here, which is between positivism and interpretivism, and also constructionism. Now, there are also the element of differentiating between methodology and method. Methodology is how can we find out whether we are following the quantitative approach or the qualitative approach, which I will explain later. And there's also the method uh, as opposed to the methodology. And method means what tool to use, i.e., are you using experiments or surveys, for example, or are you using interviews and diaries uh, what, uh, in your research? So. In actual fact, ontology is what is reality, and epistemology, what and, can, uh, what and how can I know reality or knowledge? This is, these are the, this is the question to ask. In theoretical perspective, what approach can we use, or can we, or you, use to get knowledge? Then methodology what procedure can we use to acquire knowledge? 
What is the procedure that we follow or use to acquire knowledge? The methods are the tools. What are the tools that we can use, and not used, can use to acquire knowledge? And lastly, um, with regards to uh, the sources, what data can we use? Now, this is really quite general. I am starting from a very, very general uh, approach first. In order to understand uh, uh, the research methodologies, you need to know that ontology, which is uh, what is reality, whereas epistemology is to know how we can know about knowledge, whereas theoretical perspective is what approach can we use to get that knowledge. And methodology is what are the procedures that we need to use in order to gain knowledge or acquire knowledge. And then methods that are what are the tools that we, are, we can use to acquire that knowledge. How, which, which tools should we use there? And then, of course, finally, is to talk about the sources. What data can we collect in, from the sources? I hope that this is quite a general, and I'll be more specific in the next, in the few uh, recordings about uh, research methodologies today.